my YouTube channel and now we are at the Baroness Young Hall. This is one of the costliest accommodation in Stanfield and uh, this is in block 2 and now we are going to meet my friend Zoha which is she is also from MIM. So come on let's meet her. <laughs> And which country are you from? I'm from Iran. Nice okay. to meet you. Nice to meet you all. <laughs> so she lives in Baroness Young and this is Doha. Okay, when, when you want to enter, we have a card. So you tap the card over here. Okay. The door will automatically open. We'll enter. Block two, it's the biggest block uh, amongst all of the Baroness. We mm -hmm. have five blocks and uh, this is the huge one which contains a lobby as you can see okay and then we'll go through that door which will be the lounge is a place that you can sit study have fun with your friends and also next to it is the laundry room which okay. we can check it out yeah, yeah? let's uh, see this common space can you show the common space around first we have mail coming in through those using our id cards Okay. That you can for your mails, right? For your mails, so yes. Okay. Sitting areas, and this is the entrance towards the accommodation and towards the rooms, okay. which we will go later. Okay. Shall we? Oh yeah. So this is the lounge area. This is the lounge area. It's open from seven a.m. till twelve. They'll okay. close it at twelve. Okay. Um. After you. Thank you. Study here, you can have some Friday nights with Zoe with your friends. Okay. And we'll mess you because it's a Saturday. Um, for the laundry room, the entrance is from here. You have to tap your ID card as well. Okay. This um, is the laundry room then? Yeah. So you tap your ID card, it opens. Yeah, you have to have the uh, app on your phone called Picket uh, to be able to use it, the washing machine and the dryer. Um, depends on which one of these you choose. I think the highest amount that you have to pay for the washing machine is around 450 pounds. Okay. Uh, and the dryer is around 180. Then again, it depends on which of the op options you can choose. Okay. And. Um, it's kind of good. So this is accessible for only Baroness people? Yes. No other accommodations? No. Use. They can. They're, it might be available for other mm. students, but you have to have an ID card to enter. Okay. So usually Baroness students. Okay. So uh, this is a common area. Now we are entering towards our room. Yes. And then we again have to stand by. You have to have the ID card to be able to move past the store. So the safety here is very high. So. Um, accommodations, the flat numbers start from here, the flat, some of the flats are over here. Okay. Um, this is the lift, so we will obviously, it's, uh, we have four floors, okay. and each of the floors have six flats, six to seven flats. Okay. That is the main thing over here. You have to have it. And uh, a really quick suggestion, do not lose it. Because if you lose it, you have to pay around 50 pounds oh. to receive a new one. Yes. After you, the flats start from here. Oh, this is not the flat. Oh, I thought you, we were entering your flat. No, this is the flat. So okay. the rooms are the start from here. And in the end, it's the kitchen. Okay. So let's go to the room first. Two, three, four, I'm in the fifth. ID card, obviously. So you all, you can lock it when you're coming out. You have to tap it. Okay. This is the entrance. Nice. Hangers over here, as we have in the entrance. This is the washroom. It's okay. pretty nice to have it. Everything is contained. You have a cupboard over here. The washer is over there. So it's bigger than strength. Uh, sorry, Shirvo. The washroom is bigger. Yeah. The mirror is quite huge, which is really nice. Yeah. And this is the huge cupboard that we have, which has two drawers inside. 
Okay. Two big, huge drawers. Okay, much of a storage space. Yeah. Right? Even drawers over here. Again, one, two, a space over here. Okay. Over there. Mm -hmm. These are the spaces. Study area, which I love to study and sit down there mostly to study yeah. if I'm feeling tired and I don't yeah. want to use my chair. The heater is quite well. Mm -hmm. It works pretty well and it really warms up the room. So you can uh, access the temperature? like you can... Yes, you can access the temperature using its touch. So it goes up till 30. Okay. And then it stays like that. But after 30 to one hour, 30 minutes to one hour, okay. it goes off automatically for saving power. Okay. So that's the thing, saving energy and power. Mm -hmm. So that's the thing that usually So in the happens. night, you might have to woke up and yeah. do that thing yeah. again. But usually, because all of the rooms are full and we all use our heaters, mm -hmm. the energy, the warmth is yeah. like kind of Traffic, cycling. Yeah. yeah. So you wouldn't need to do that over the night okay. because the room is warm. Okay, okay. So you have got a view from here. The view is beautiful. Yeah. If you're on the field side, which I am, and it's beautiful. I did really like your headspace for the bed. Mm -hmm. Like I think no one has got this headspace, right? And Over, any other yeah. of I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. The headspace is beautiful. You can put up your yeah. books and drinks or food right. or anything that you need so what's the rent you're paying for your so each month it's around 800 pounds i'm okay. just giving you a round off round off okay uh so based on the m amount that we're paying there are some suggestions that we have for the university that would be okay. better because like for example the laundry we pay for the laundry mm -hmm. but since it's like the uh, most expensive yeah, accommodation, accommodation we yeah expect them to at mm -hmm. least leave that for a fee right, and put right. it on the fee yeah. while we are staying yeah. here. Um, other than that, the, the area is quite good. Mm -hmm. It's quite nice. Right. The room, it's acceptable. It's, yeah. As you can see, it's better right. than the other accommodations. Mm -hmm. So so what other storage space do you have other than this? Other than that, the very interesting part about this room is that right. obviously you have suitcases. You can either put it under the bed, but okay. usually it doesn't go if it's like too loaded. Mm -hmm. It's a secretive. It's what cute. What have you put inside that? A uh, suitcase. Obviously. Okay. You can put the suitcase up there, but it won't fit. Right, right. If it's if the height is too much, uh, the lamp, the chair, the dustbin, um, they're provided. When you come in the room, the sheets mm -hmm. are all already folded as being like new. That's okay. my sheet. I brought it from home, but okay. they will provide it. In the kitchen, they will provide you with plates and mugs, right, and like forks and spoons and everything and um that's about it yeah so let's check out her kitchen now yeah shall we so the one thing about uh the rooms over here in each flat is that usually the first rooms are a little bit bigger a little bit but it doesn't matter because it, you can't choose which room you go inside okay so they will just this is the kitchen um, Baron's Block 2, as I recall, uh, has a few huge kitchens because this is the hugest. Yeah. Um, usually other flats might have half of this space. Okay. Um, sofas, everything is obviously provided. Just one second. Mm -hmm. So I think you are seven people, right? Yes. Seven here. So are these two fridge? Oh, so yes, them. these are uh, two of the fridges that mm -hmm. are divided by seven of us. We each take one shelf, okay, uh, or two shelves because you know right. you can divide it. The freezer as well, That's we nice. divide it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, each of the cupboards and the drawers, from top to down, is for one room. Okay. So this is for one room. That's for another room. Oh. This is my room. My stuff. Okay. Drawer. As I mentioned, plates and forks and spoons, mm -hmm. everything is provided. Yeah. But container and everything you have to provide with okay. yourself. Uh, microwave, toaster, kettle, we have that. You have uh, hands, sinks. yeah, two sinks we have. Okay. Hands are provided. Kitchen equipment for cooking, everything okay. is provided. This is communal, right? Yes, these are communal. Okay. Um, oven, as you can see, we have two stoves and two ovens. Okay. And she's uh, the flatmate. She's a flatmate, yes. She's cooking. Okay. And um, that's the view. 
Everyone loves that view. I think the kitchen is so huge here. It is. That's why uh, Baroness is called the party hall because most of the parties happen here because of the kitchen size. So if you know someone from Baroness or you're staying in the Baroness, keep alarm of the parties that they happen. Every night. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's a weekend or a weekday. So I think their induction is different from every other hall. It looks so premium and the new model. Yes, it is. And does it take too much time to cook? Like, no, it goes on very fast. Safety keys, as you can see, is mm -hmm. over provided. Okay. Starts with buttons. This is like a little bit tricky because some students, when they come in, they <laughs> don't understand how to work out with it. Okay. There's a manual you can usually. Okay. So it goes on with this. So you unlock it. Okay. I don't have no idea what that is, but anyway. Then you choose your stove. For example, I choose that one. Okay. And then nine is the highest amount that it goes and then it turns on as you can see it's getting red oh. and you can feel the heat from right now that's a kind of new technology yep i haven't seen this before yeah. and you two have got the two ovens right? yeah we have the ovens are normal to work with the temperature yeah. and like what kind of okay. baking or cooking you want to do yep don't forget so what about the cleaning situation here like for the kitchen okay so we our kitchens get cleaned two times a week. Okay. Um, provide we are provided by dustbins and also like the extra the extra yeah, yeah. dust that we need. Mm -hmm. um, we have the vacuum. Okay. We have mops. Mops for the kitchen and for the rooms are separate. That's okay. for the kitchen. Mm -hmm. This is the cupboard that the iron is inside, okay. and the mop for the room is inside. Okay. And when they come and clean the kitchen, they do deep cleaning. So deep cleaning meaning like they sometimes, like I think twice a month, mm -hmm. they also clean our fridge as well. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, they and clean. they come uh, once a week to clean oh. your stuffs and all. Once or twice. Twice. Yeah. Okay. And they completely clean the whole thing. Okay. Vacuuming, mopping, mm -hmm. everything. So uh, you're living in Baroness for about like six months now. Yes. So what do you find any pros and cons for living in Baroness? Um, I think it's a too expensive, okay. but depending on the newest accommodation, mm -hmm. it can, I guess that's a normal thing for it yeah. to happen. Um, as a student coming here, before I came here, I emailed the university to make sure everything is provided so I don't mm -hmm. need to bring anything from home. Right. I think it's depend it, it depends on the person that you are, like if there's an extra thing that you think that you might not, you might need, mm -hmm. so you would bring with yourselves, like a okay. quick cooker that usually students bring with right. themselves. I didn't, obviously I didn't need it. Um, but in general, it's, it's a good accommodation. Yeah. I think they have got the control of heating as well, but just that the case you have to switch it on every yes, hour. Yes, that's and that's me. the case. But I think Baroness is really beautiful hall. It is. It yeah. Is, it is. yeah. So thank you so much, Zoa, for sure. showing your accommodations. Sure. My and pleasure. See you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye. <laughs>